Good day viewers. You are welcome to our channel again. I am still Chinedu. Today we are going to bring to you what people have observed and the way forward for Obaru local government. Earlier we made a video about Obaru and viewers make so many observations and said so many things about that area. Remember that Obaru is the major industrial area within Onicha metropolis. And Obaru have a very large residential area along Iowa axis down to the road that leads to Atani and the rest. So today um, we are going to package what people have said that this is the way forward for Baru. So let us not forget that Obaru local government as a whole that has so many towns inside of our local government is one of the major producers of agricultural produce for Anambra State. Apart from having the largest industrial estate in Anambra State, they have food enough. They produce a lot of food in various towns inside of Maru. And so many people that has businesses in Onicha, they live within that Yowa or Debe axis. A lot. I'm going to show you everything you need to see in this video. So now we are inside or Debe, Yowa or Debe axis. This is Yowa or Debe axis. You can see the structures here. It looks like uh, our Bosi, Mbaw, all those axes. It looks like that. You may not differentiate. So, this is inside of the Beiyo or the Be axis in Obaru local government. After visiting here, we are going to visit. Uh, the industrial park but then before then we are going to move down to as if you are going to Atani we move down and we'll come back and visit the industrial park so this is your Debe axis you can see the residential areas for majority of people that has businesses inside the nature so but like I said I am going to roll out all these observations and the way forward by viewers. You know, what we have gathered from the last video, people said that this is the way forward for Baru in Anambra State. So come along with me, let's examine this. Uh, submissions from various viewers don't forget the fact that these submissions come from all over the world people living all over the world some are coming from London US Asia Africa Nigeria this uh, what I'm going to say now is the summation of all the suggestions that people have brought together the concerned people of uh, Anambra and the concerned people of Southeast and uh, uh, Nigeria in extension. So this is what they have to say about Obaru to make Obaru forge ahead and becomes what it ought to be in future. So. Without wasting much time, 
let's move ahead i will not go into you know the history and uh, every other thing about Ogbaru, no need let's just move straight to the point and get these points down and documented but please viewers don't leave this discussion alone for me i need your input to make it a successful one let's have your input let's have your observations that's the way to move forward so um many have said that uh, there are a lot of deplorable road conditions and lack of basic aesthetics on the street of Obaru that's lacking landscaping and greenery. See what people are saying that there is no, you know, uh, beautification of Obaru Road, that the road is not beautified, no aesthetics added to this road as against what is obtainable in most places of the world these days. The cities are supposed to be, you know, beautified with flowers and trees and some greeneries, you know, having a good landscaping that it is lacking, but it is very important. Having said that, we are still moving within the residential area of uh, Oyowa Odebe in Obaru local government of Anambra State. That is where we are now. So, a lot of population is here. You know, um, uh, Obaru is part of uh, Onicha Metropolis. It forms part of Onicha. That if you are not told, you may not know the difference from the main Onicha and all these axes. So, having said this, I am going to talk about another thing that people observed and said. They also said that road construction should be a form of a PPP. It shouldn't be left for government alone. That individuals can come up on themselves, even if not PPP, they can come up come up on themselves, organize and build roads. People having structures everywhere. You see flats, high-rise flats and the rest of them. Uh, though the word high-rise is not appropriate, but tall buildings, six stories, five story buildings, but there is no road. So these people are saying that it is not wise enough that people that have these structures can still come together, pull their resources together and build their own road. It doesn't take anything out of them. So that is one of the suggestions so far. Now we are moving along Atani Road. Atani Road is stretching from Express. Enugwonicha Express Road, you move follow that road down to this place we are now. If you take it straight, you are going to bust out of Atani. Atani is the headquarters of Obaru local government. That is the headquarters. It should be about 15 minutes drive from Onicha. The Atani I'm talking about. So this is the road that leads to Atani. You can see you watch and observe how the place is. So but we are moving straight down, down. We are moving straight. 
We are not going to bend anywhere. It's just a straight movement. So, um, some other people observed that after watching the previous video, they said something. Like I used to say, our video is based on people's uh, requests. People can request that they want this and that this area and the other area and we will move around to cover these places and upload that's what we do so but after uploading people will you know watch and uh, make one or two comments that's what we observed so after this observations we try to make something out of it because it's not just making video people will watch and make comments it ends there we must make something out of it something to move the community forward that's how we operate we don't just watch for entertainment we watch to make things better for ourselves and for our children's children in future <laughs> so that is how we operate so that's what brought about this further you know um, uh, presentation that's what brought about it further presentations of what has transpired earlier and i believe and so many people believe that is a very good one to move our place southeast nigeria forward so people we are talking about anywhere you see on paved roads and no sidewalks just know that it is a sign of failed government like I said, a lot of people from abroad, more than half, they make these comments and, uh, you know, it's not a good thing if we neglect these comments that people are making. So they are saying that it is a sign of a uh, failed government when walkways, roads are not built and a whole lot of them that it is a very bad sign it's a sign of fair government so i know that there is still rooms to make amendments and upgrade you know, whatever thing that human beings do at a time there will be need to make some upgrade that is normal thing then let's proceed Let's proceed. A number of people talked about uh, Obaru Road and Anambra Road. Uh, they hardly sweep off sand off the road. I don't know, people are saying this thing a lot that sands on the road it is very very wrong that's what people are saying many of us that are not used to traveling out of the countries may not understand this they are saying that outside there that roads are very neat machines sweep the road human beings sweep the road even in most african countries that is not like this it's better we call a spade a spade. And most of these little African countries that you are seeing is not like this. They are very neat. The roads are very neat. That we, um, uh, we are supposed to be above that level. 
so that sands on the road is a very bad thing it's not supposed to be sands are not supposed to be on the road so let's they are saying that there should be a solution if it if it means increasing the number of people that sweeps the road or they are sweeping the road and don't sweep off sand you see the thing so let there be an uh, improved sweeping of sand of the road so um this is how it is we still have so many things to talk about so many things that they observed we are rolling them out one by one almost the same thing the same observation but some differences anyway then they they talked about indiscriminate dumping of refuse on major roads seeing some refuse dumps some part of the road you see refuse anyhow on the road without being cut out for without being removed promptly they, they, they are saying that is a, it is a very bad thing seeing refuse on the roads anyhow it has to be looked into so but uh, we are still moving down on uh, Atani Road this is still along Atani Road So as we are still observing at Annie Road, let's keep uh, rolling out uh, these discussions and these observations together with uh, suggestions. To support what I am saying, I am going to add a link in the description of this video i will add a link where you can verify these things that we are saying where you can find out the, how people talked about it so the link will be there in the descriptions just hope i will not forget to add it This is still at an road. We are moving along it. Then um, they talked about uh, government should make it compulsory that no one should build anything like shade. And no one should build anything like shade after the main building. No building of uh, projections, shanties. You know, um, after the main building, in front of the building. And those things are too bad and it makes our environment dirty. That is what some have said. And it is a very common, you know, observation among viewers saying that there should be enforcement on that uh, they are supposed to be removed there will be a law against that people building shanties projections all this tattered tarpaulin umbrella in front of buildings that any business is supposed to be inside the shop there go inside the shop you do your business and you leave all this bringing of items outside 
shedding of items that people are selling and it is a very bad thing that's what they are suggesting so that building is a nova base of their offices you now there is a nova base along uh, on that uh, axis here that's another base and they have about two or three checkpoints along this road so after some time after some movement down there we are going to turn back and please don't forget that we are yet to visit the main the biggest industrial layout in Anambra State that is where we are going but if you are yet to subscribe to this channel don't forget to do it just click on the subscription button click on the notification button like the video let us hear your own comments we are finding a way to move forward so bring your own comments it's going to go a long way it's going to go a long way we are all doing it for ourselves and the future of our children so let's have our hands on deck don't forget to share the video let's get other people's views also i want to thank you as you do that and let us proceed then another set of people talked about you can see that is the naval checkpoint down there but we are not going to catch them we are not going to cover them so we don't and leave that area so now this place we are looking at is back of uh, second niger bridge you can see the second niger bridge down there that is the second niger bridge so we decided to have a good look from behind here there is no way we will come to obaro without seeing river obaro is about river these people from this axis inside these villages their own farming season is different from the usual farming season other people used to have their own farming season is during dry season and they don't rely on rainfall if i'm not mistaken so they usually plant their things depending on what they are planting around november december that's when they plant especially yams so around june their yams are ready when rain started falling their yams are ready for consumption and this is the major area that people get food items so now we are right now inside the harbor industrial layout you can see how trucks are packed people talked about it bitterly i don't know why it's like this but these trucks they are waiting to load from ab in belf as people that produce heroes grandmas and the rest that's where that's where they are waiting for to load so they are saying that all the trucks must not park on the highway along these roads parking anyhow highways expressway that's a general observation Anambra must show the lights. Anambra must show the lights that 
they are fronting. I know in some areas this indiscriminate parking of vehicles, trucks, or along the road is a way of generating revenue. But this one, I think, is uh, that place is allotted to them to park. But people are saying that it is wrong, even if government allowed them that they shouldn't park on the road. So, but the general thing is that the trucks are not supposed to be parking along the road, that it is wrong. So, but this parking of vehicles along the road, honestly, people are bitter about it, that there should be an enforcement on it. There should be a, you know, public uh, notification that these things are wrong, that they should stop, after which enforcement of the defaulters will be followed suit. And they said it is a way of generating a very big revenue for the government. So that it should stop henceforth. Though it's not a, you know, a kind of command, but they are suggesting that these things are not supposed to be in this age in this you know generation that things like this is very wrong Then some, someone even gave example that Governor Erufai changed the face of Kaduna, that all one lane roads turn to two lanes. 
turned all those one lane road into two lane roads. That shows that, you know, um, as population is increasing, development and government infrastructures that are supposed to follow, you know, uh, projecting ahead. All these things was done before now. Things, number of vehicles in existence, that time is not the number of vehicles in existence now. Population increasing, a lot of buildings springing up. So if there is no commensurate infrastructure that equates this development or that is greater than this development, there will be a problem. Things will choke. That is the idea. That things are going to choke. So let's be futuristic and walk towards you know the future. So this person is talking about Aerofy expanding all those one lane roads and make them two lanes. You know, it has to do with determination and zeal. You know, somebody being focused that this is what we want. There is a way that the government will do something. People will know that, yes, that this government has focused. They know what they are doing. Probably the resources are not enough. That one is different. By the time people see one, two, three, four roads, standard walkways, traffic lights, well marked, they will know that yes, there is a target and people will be ready to pay their taxes. People will not that want to evade tax. I believe it will work. That system works. So uh, on a normal situation, on the normal ground, it's uh, majorly people on a democratic settings, people determines or the majority determines what they want to be seen in their society. But I don't know whether it works that way. People are eager to see their places, their cities look better and fine. So, but we are still moving within Harbour industrial layout. I said this is the biggest industrial layout within Onicha Metropolis. If there is any other suggestions or any debunk of these uh, statements, let's hear. I know that this is the place that majorly government mapped out and it has been functioning very well. A lot of industries are here manufacturing one thing or the other. So this kind of place needs a very huge encouragement. I know it was the government of Pitobi that uh, gave this place a facelift. So let's proceed.
So, um, we are not done yet, you know, having gone through the industrial layout and uh, came out along that same Atani axis, Atani road, you know, there are some part of the road that we have not covered, so we try to move along them so that we can see how those places looks like even though majorly this place is still part of industrial area of Obaru all these places you can see a lot of industries you know scattered uh, everywhere around there so that is it but um, they are saying that government should attend to those roads that facilitate the movement of agricultural produce from villages inside Obaru. There are so many villages, like I said earlier, inside Obaru. So what people are saying is that government should make these roads very, very motorable. All those bad places should be attended to as and when due that is going to help to you know uh, distribute some of these foods that have been you know uh, produced in these villages inside of our local government you know ease of movement is going to facilitate the agricultural produce from these areas and that is what they are saying. Though, having said that, um, they still talked about buildings, you know, houses, buildings, residential areas that they are built without parking space. People are not, you know, happy, you know, if somebody will build house, there is no parking space. Uh, it is very wrong. It is a wrong way of construction. There should be enough parking space for vehicles to park. Then, um... People also um, talked about all these big companies in uh, Obaru. You know, this place is still part of industrial layout of Obaru. You know, down there, it is the government of P2B that you know gave this place a facelift. From here down is uh, Obuduku Road. Boduku, you bust out at the way road. If you take left, if you take right, you go back to Atani Road. So, but they are saying that these big companies all over Obaru that they shouldn't be waiting for government to do their roads. That is one of the observations and suggestions made from this video we showed earlier about Obaru. Then this um, 
The major roads in Obaru people said it that it should be a dual road. All these places are supposed to be dualized by now. That should be the target of the government. And if you look at it critically, you see that there is a good point in it. You know, planning ahead. All these places are becoming congested and it needs a very good and well-planned access road. Even some places are supposed to have flyovers to ease movement. If you have been to these places on a very busy day, you will understand what we are talking about. So, but uh, gradually we are, you know, covering the major suggestions and observations 
by the viewers and gradually we are going back to where we come from so but lastly let me drop it lastly they talked about governments to reconstruct all bad portions of the harbor industrial layout that the harbor industrial layout the portions are getting bad again so government should as a matter of urgency reconstruct those bad places so with this i wish to thank you for watching this video so until i come your way next time bye for now